There are some nice tools in Excel for working with text and writing paragraphs. So just a couple of them. So first thing here, we've got a sentence and as you can see, it's gone over the column width. We don't want to increase the column width, we need the column width to stay the same. So the first option we have is I can do something called wrap text. So if I right click and I go to format cells or you push control one if you like shortcuts. What I can do is go to the alignment tab and there's an option here called wrap text. When I click OK, you'll see it takes that sentence, makes the row wider and then fits it in. What's important to note is Excel decides where it must go to the next line. So that's the first option, the wrap text option. The problem with this method is that Excel has decided what should go where. Perhaps this sentence should go on the its own line. I'm just going to undo. So now what we're going to do, I'm just going to make this bigger, is you can specify exactly where it must go down. So for example over here, I click in that cell there and I'm going to hold my Alt key and push Enter. And you'll see it moves it down to the bottom. So let's say we want to then, that can extend and then this one must be on its own line, Alt Enter. And when I click Enter, you'll see that where I've specified it must move to a new line, it's done it. Where it's too long, it forces it to go to a new line. And then where I've specified it, it's gone down again. This is great if you want everything to fit into a row and you'll see what it does is it changes the row height and that may be a problem because maybe something over here now doesn't look so nice. So another trick you can use is as you can see I've got the same sentence. I want these to appear over those let's say four cells. So it's the same as me going in here and then manually taking that section, cutting it, putting it here except it's as simple as we highlight a number of cells, I go to the home tab, I go to fill and at the bottom here you'll see something called justify. When I click it you'll see it automatically puts it into its own cells. Let's just undo. If I highlight only two and I go fill justify you'll see you get a warning saying it just can't be done in those two, it might have to go further. And if you say OK, it then does that. If we go down a bit, we can also use this technique where we've got a whole paragraph written in many cells, but you can see they keep going over the column. So all we can do is we can highlight that area. And what you'll see is Excel will then fit it in and join the various sentences together. So we go to fill, justify, and you'll see it's now fitted everything in and attached the sentences to each other.